What is up, guys? Gamer, the video game scientist from VG Bootcamp here, and I'm going to go quickly through these patch notes for Smash Ultimate 11.0. I've already gone through this once, so I basically know everything in here. So let's start with this thing that a lot of characters have. Match the vulnerability with other fighters when falling in place. What this basically means is sometimes people get hit and they land into the ground. Um, this is something I've read. I don't know if it's true yet, but some characters, I think, either had more stun or less stun in some of these situations, and this fix is to make sure everybody has the same amount of stun. Um, there's no weirdness when people land in situations like this. Next up, this is a big one. This has been a, in the game for 20 years. People have been asking for this to get removed, and this is the Rock Croc. Basically, when you up B with Falcon or Ganondorf and it connects, they have a ton of lag afterwards. So they removed that, um, and you can act almost immediately, meaning if, if a Falcon or, or your Falcon or Ganon, you up B someone next to the ledge and they wall tech it, they won't be able to punish it as easily because you can act really quickly after it. Pichu got some buffs. This is great. Uh, they decreased the damage on all the moves that damage Pichu, which is important because the character is very light, and a lot of Pichu players have been asking for this because they're like, we're already light, so we don't like this when this happens to us. Um, but next, so when Pichu neutral airs, most of his body is inside of um, is inside of the hitbox, so it's a pretty good move, but his ears are on the outside of the hitbox, so they made the ears invincible so that the move's better and cannot be contested as easily. It can still be contested, but this makes this move is already really good, so that makes the neutral layer really, really good now. So Zero Suit Samus got nerfed, um, neutral layer and up B. So basically, uh, neutral layer now has two more frames of landing lag, so it's now minus four on shield, making it not as good. Uh, Zero Suit's up special, up special, up B, now is six frames instead of four frames. Yeah, so... Zero Suit's neutral layer is now minus four when perfectly spaced, making her pressure not as good, but still really good. I mean, she got a one frame jab, etc. Up special now comes out in frame six instead of frame four, so it's not going to punish moves as easily um, when they hit the shield, which is, it's, it's, it's not like an insane nerf, but those two frames really do matter. So we'll have to see how this affects Mars, etc. and other top Zero Suit Samus players. All right, so Wario. Now, Wario's nerfs are still pretty bad, even though they seem slight. One is up tilt, wah, 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 isn't as active anymore, so that confirm of up tilt into waft isn't going to be as good as it used to be. Second, the um, the half charge and the full waft now come out three frames later each, so half charge is now from five to eight. Full charge is now nine to, th it's either nine to 12, I think it's nine to 12. So what this means is um, him being able to hit confirm into his waft is going to be a lot harder now. So... Uh, yeah, that's pretty bad for him. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we don't know yet if his super armor's later now on his on his big waft, but like this is pretty bad because Wero like is a really good character, but he needs this comeback com mechanic to be like good, good. So we'll have to see. Like, uh, I, I, Gluttony's amazing, so I don't think he's gonna have problems um, adapting to this. But in general, that's pretty bad for Wero. Diddy Kong. So Diddy Kong's banana. Now there's more. Uh, if if a Diddy if a <laughs> If Diddy Kong's banana goes away, it now takes more time for Diddy to be able to pull out another banana. Um, they already did this once, I think, um, to get rid of the infinite. So now that they did this again, it makes the second infinite that was discovered on platforms that isn't nearly as good or, or easy to set up that no one's actually, I don't think, ever pulled off in tournament. But it probably gets rid of that. So it's an interesting change. I don't really know why they nerfed Diddy Kong, but I guess the character's getting too good <laughs> after all those buffs. All right, King Diddy, this is pretty cool. So his side B where he hits the Gordo, it's two frames faster. It's pretty decent. Um, now when you throw it up against the wall or against the stage, it connects way easier, which is great for ledge trapping and edge guarding, um, being able to do this. But also when like someone hits the, the Gordo back at you and you press A or side B, like the range for which uh, DDD will grab it and throw it again is way bigger, so you don't. It's it's way easier to time that. So I think this is actually like a it might seem like a tiny change, but that side B move was already really good, hitting the Gordo. So I think this is actually really good for uh for King DDD. All right, Little Mac, uh, they added one more frame to his up smash. So uh, used to be active I think from frame 10 to 13. Now it's frame 10 to 14. So it's a little bit better. Um, one frame does make a difference, but. I don't really see it changing that much. We shall see. Uh, Me Gunner's forward smashed has a bigger hitbox. Uh, the hitbox is already really big, so I don't really know why they did that, but we shall see. Palutena's dash attack has, let me think about this, 
I think I got, I think I remember. I think it has about three more frames of ending lag now, making it even less safe on shield. Uh, Palutena's forward air has two more frames of landing lag, making it minus five on shield now instead of minus three. Big deal because forward air pressure by Palutena used to just be free. You could just do whatever you wanted. Minus five still is very safe on shield though. And then they slightly reduced the range on Palutena's grab. Um, when I went into training mode and looked at it, I couldn't really tell, but people like that, even though it's a seven frame grab, not a six frame grab, uh, that range issue has really made people angry about just how she can grab people from so far away. So maybe this will make a difference. I don't know. It is very slight. So Joker. So when he snaps and shoots the projectile, there is now, I think, it's either two or three more frames of end lag on that, making it a little less safe. I guess that's good for when you go up inside of him because that move is very annoying. But since it's a projectile, I don't know if it'll make that much of a difference. Um, Joker's down B when he has um, Arson. If it whiffs, there's now three extra frames of lag, so you can have a little bit more time to punish it. All right, so Byleth, down smash, now has more knockback. It knocks further. It kills earlier. Um, Byleth down air, same thing. Has more knockback, kills earlier. Not exactly sure if it's a spike hit box, the side hit box, or both, but that's good. And also, it does more shield damage. When I did my testing, it looks like it almost does as much shield damage as down smash now, which is really good because down air is a little harder to punish um, since you can like drift with it, whereas down smash, you could just forward smash it if you shield it and it doesn't break your shield. Uh, by the side special now, if it tippers on shield, it doesn't freeze as much. It's kind of like a quality of life change. It really doesn't change anything. Um, and this is cool. Byleth's up B now hits on frame nine instead of frame 11. So it hits two frames earlier. That is an out of shield option. So that's actually a big deal. The hitbox isn't bigger. So like they still have to be up in your face, but nine frames to a, against 11 frames does make a world of distance. Um, it does make the world of, of difference when it comes to a move that you can do immediately out of shield. So that's great. And also uh, it, do, it, uh, it, it has more knockback. So I think that either means comboing um, comboing off it might be better, but I think the main thing is it just means like if you pull some out of the air and shoot them down, they're more likely to die from it instead of being able to recover. Now, Min Min was uh, nerfed. Min Min was nerfed pretty badly. Um, it says that match the vulnerability with other fighters when performing an air dodge. I think that means the landing lag of the air dodge. So I'm guessing that Min Min's air dodge either had extra landing lag or less landing lag. I don't know but they made it so it's the same as everyone else. And where everyone else is, neutral is 10 frames. And then the other ones, if you're right next to the ground, are generally around 18 frames. Uh, Min Min did get nerfed though. Her side smash can't be charged as long anymore. It's kind of like old Smash 4, old Melee, where once you get to the full charge, you pretty much have to release it. I guess they did that because you kind of could just get away with like scaring you. Or if you're on ledge, you could just charge forever and you're just like, dang, I'm getting ledge trapped. My invol running out. So that's a pretty big nerf and it's probably important. Um, also the dragons do less knockback now. So, uh, that probably got rid of a lot of the cheese that, uh, Min Min players were doing where they'd hit you and then like forward smash into laser and then it just killed you. So, uh, it's probably good that that happened. And then Steve's down smash is bigger now. I don't know why I thought that move was already really good, but the hitbox is bigger. It looks like the hitbox is at least bigger on the first part and maybe even on the second part. I mean, maybe I'm just like, you know, what is it called? Um, I can't remember, but I, I might just be like seeing things that aren't actually there. And then Sephiroth's down special, his uh, counter that ends with him shooting little sparkles out. Uh, it makes it so it's harder for people to fall out of it. That's what it looks like. So yeah, um, those are the patch notes for 11.0. Uh, pretty solid patch. Like seeing Byleth getting buffed. Like seeing Pichu getting a little buff. Like seeing Min Min getting nerfed, honestly, because I thought the character probably secretly way better than people thought. Um, uh, Joker's nerfs, I guess. I don't know. I, I'm really into Palo getting uh, nerfed because she was pretty, pretty good. Um, cool to see DDD buffs. We'll see. Zero Suit Samus nerfs, I, I appreciate to a certain extent. Um, Wario nerfs, I'm really interested in seeing how much it'll change the character because the character's so comeback heavy. Um, and then Captain Falcon and Ganondorf being able to, you know, act out of their uppies after connecting them. I'm really happy about that. I'm really excited to see where that goes. So those are the changes. Um, if you
you like the video, consider giving a like. If you like the video, consider subscribing. If you really like the video, consider turning on notifications. Um, I'm working um, a lot on the Smash World Tour right now, and it launched the first event, Mexico Online Qualifiers, next week. So I'll do my best to get some tech for uh, Pyra and Mithra up, but I can't promise anything, but I will do my best. So I'm really busy. i got things to do. So it's back to the lab with me. See you guys next time.